Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges, my name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Warhammer video. Today we're going to talk about the Chaos Dwarves, specifically a certain discussion, big hats or metal suits. So without further ado, let's begin. I believe it's safe to say that it's only a matter of time until the Chaos Dwarves get implemented into the Total War Warhammer series as a playable race. Despite not having an official army book since 4th edition, they've always had some form of representation in Warhammer Fantasy Battle. Whether in just general lore, an official supplement, or in the very popular Hell Cannon unit which was featured in the Warriors of Chaos roster that had a Chaos Dwarf crew. They've always been a fairly popular race, and their popularity has transferred to Total War Warhammer, where every so often a forum topic will pop up regarding them in some way shape or form. With a common topic being on how they should look, you see, the Chaos Dwarves have had two distinct visual styles over the years. First is that of their official army book styling, which is the Big Hat approach, and second was the 8th edition supplement which gave them a new style, the Metal Suit look. Generally the army stayed pretty much the same in both renditions. They were slow but had decent weaponry, a lot of firepower, especially in terms of artillery, and a few different Hobgoblin slaves just to fill out their roster, especially with some faster units. Now we're going to look at both the aesthetic styles in greater detail. Firstly with a classic big hat look. In established lore, this look represents the greater majority of the Chaos Dwarfs. A visual style inspired by ancient Mesopotamia, this was a rather well-known look. You could easily identify a Chaos Dwarf model from quite far away. Of course the models themselves look a bit dated, but we have to take into account that these are very old casts. Games Workshop themselves didn't really start getting into their prime in terms of model design until I believe around 7th edition, but by that point the Chaos Dwarfs had been shelved at least for the time being. Were it the case that they were still an active army, they would have most likely been updated, probably still keeping the Mesopotamian look, just looking a little bit less ridiculous. And that is in reference to the casting in general, not the idea and design of the race. In fact, there was a model release for Age of Sigmar's minigame Warcry, which pays homage to the old look whilst also keeping a new visual distinction towards it. Now, many people believe that this would have been the generalized look for the Chaos Dwarves had they received an update. But even then, many fans say that they would prefer the original look. The fact that the general lore goes about that this is the generic look for the Chaos Dwarfs leads many people to believe that this will be the race's generic look. And I myself am more inclined to believe this too, considering the fact that that was the last official army book. But we do have to take into account the 8th edition supplement which did reintroduce the Chaos Dwarfs as a playable army. So during the release of the Thrones of Chaos supplement, the Chaos Dwarfs were finally reintroduced into the 8th edition world of Warhammer Fantasy Battles. With that, many believed that the Chaos Dwarves had gone through a complete makeover. This is something that had happened to other races and factions before, so many did believe this until they got their hands on the book, where it was established in lore that this specific group of Chaos Dwarves was its own standing army. Now many people would be quick to dismiss this new appearance mainly because of that, but we have to take into account that Creative Assembly themselves stated that they want to focus around 8th edition before anything else. And technically, because these Chaos Dwarves were released alongside an expansion pack for 8th edition, they do fall around 8th edition. I know that's not the best grounds in terms for an argument, but that could literally be the reasoning. Especially since those models are still being sold by GW via Forgeworld, this could be a way for them to drum up sales for that faction. Personally, I would prefer the original look, but given the fact that the 8th edition supplement is the most recent one with the more newer models, it's more than likely going to be them. CA could even surprise us and implement a mix of both, but that does seem quite unlikely. But what do you guys think about the eventual visual appearance of the Chaos Dwarves? Do you think we'll have the more classic approach, the new approach, or a mix of both? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and let's start a bit of a discussion, shall we? Once again, apologies for the small video again today, it's just as you guys might be aware, I'm currently trying to balance creating the usual morning content that I always release, while also preparing for an eventual video drop on Total War Elysium, so thanks for understanding guys, I really do appreciate it. But with that my friends, we've come to the end of our video, thank you so much for watching, if you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel as it really does help us out. In the description section below, we have various different social media links such as Facebook, Instagram and Discord, where you can get in contact with the Great Book team, talk to us about Total War, Warhammer or just anything really. Also in the description section below is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could get loads of hobby based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Purchasing using this link and also using our special code which is also in the description supports the channel at no extra cost to you which we think is rather cool. 
A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us. Honestly, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to a higher level of content. A special thank you to our patrons Gibraltar LUSC and Ryan Birch for subscribing to us at our fame level. Honestly, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, the channel's been growing a lot lately and it's all thanks to you guys. Without you, the great book would be nothing. We're trying to implement more videos into the channel soon, but we're getting stuff done outside of YouTube at the moment, just like artwork and so on for the channel. It's just taking a little while to get everything to look to a standard that we feel is cool. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for all the support lately. It's been amazing. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.